This is me trying to, you know, get my life together and not get comfortable at one place. You know what I mean? Welcome back to my channel. I forgot that I had my watch, um, that I had the thing going. I've walked for 13 minutes and 53 seconds and I've burned 73 calories. This is not how I wanted to do a workout for today, but I'll take it when I can get it, especially considering, like, I'm so tired from just walking out the block. And what's funny is I normally walk more than this, so I don't get how I'm so tired, probably, because the sun is hella hot. Like, damn. So I just came back from one of the facilities that I want to work at, and that was the preferred one. Um, I really thought I was going to go there and just drop off my resume and stuff like that. But when I went in there, the guy was just like, oh, let me see if she can actually see right now because she's actually here. And I'm like, okay, dope. So the good thing is I had everything that I would need on me. So I was able to like fill out the application and like do the little tests that they have and everything. And I passed the second time. <laughs> Guys, my memory is a little rusty, so I need to start going over my papers and everything because I saved those. But, um, I did the test and passed and then, um, filled out the application and everything and she gave me a paper to go do a drug test. So, I'm gonna see if I can find a place that I can do it at tomorrow because she said their orientation is gonna be next month. And, um, so I want to make sure that everything is done by the time it's time for their orientation. Now, um, I don't know how I'm going to work this out with my current job because I guess I didn't want to leave if I wasn't sure, but, um, I'm not trying to just sit there either. So I'm going to, and then this morning too, when I was saying that, you know, I'm applying and I want to go to a facility, my husband was asking me if I'm tired of working where I'm working and... I feel like it's not even that I'm tired of working there, but I'm so comfortable there. And I don't necessarily like to be comfortable in a position where I don't feel like I'm elevating myself, if I'm making sense. And I have my license and I haven't worked as a certified nursing assistant since I had it. Now, um, this is telling me to end the workout. I forgot again. Um, I have three weeks left in this month to like pretty much continue at my job. And then after that, I think... I'll let them know that I'm leaving. I have three weeks to deliberate and like decide what I want to do because the lady said the orientation is like three days, but I'm waiting until she calls me before I even say anything to my job to let me know when the orientation is, but I have to get the blood work done too, the drug test done too. So I need to find a place to do that on my day off, which is tomorrow's the last day off for this week and I want to just knock it out and like be done with it. And girl, I'm really wondering how much this, this is going to cost. I feel like it's going to cost me a pretty little penny. So I was trying to see if I can find a place today to like set up an appointment so I can just walk around in Zimmer and they're ready for me. And I feel like a lot of times when you when you make appointments, it's just like, mm, girl, it don't even be working like that. Like you go there and you still have to sit there for forever and wait. What I was saying, um, I don't like to be comfortable to the point where I'm just like sitting there and and you know that's it. I'm okay with being there like that. I want more and I've been sitting on my license for what nine months okay nine whole months almost a year I've been sitting on the license for and I haven't worked just yet for various reasons but you know I want to start like doing that type of work right now and so that's what I'm kind of dipping into so yeah it was a really smooth experience I filled out the papers the lady collected them back she um you know it was quick quick and easy and of course she was just like you know first of all there's so much paperwork that you have to fill out but she was just like you know it's not it's temporary and depending on your like your work ethics then you know it, but it could become permanent but I feel like it's the same with any position wherever you work depending on your work ethics it's temporary they have to see how you work but work ethics isn't an issue for me because I've known people who have never worked in the field before and I have done just fine like their first week or two at work so I don't think that I'm not gonna do fine like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be okay I just need to find this damn place so I can do this shit at. and it looks like one is close by so I'm gonna try calling this one judging it's already closed it opens 8 a.m. tomorrow so I need to set an alarm for 8 a.m. and then I'm gonna call them and then see if I can just walk up tomorrow or whatever 
Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna call this on tomorrow. Or I'm gonna wake up and actually go. Oh, they open from 8 to 3. So, I'm gonna go in the morning. I have my alarm set for 8 o'clock on the days where I actually work. I'm gonna set this for 8 too. And I'm also gonna set a reminder. Remind me tomorrow at 8.15 a.m. to go to the Quest Laboratory to do the blood work. When I called earlier, because I had tried calling earlier, and they were saying, oh... We do accept the walk-ins, but, you know, if you made an appointment too, that would have been fine. But I just feel like I'm going to wake up and go because I'm not really in the mood and I can't be bothered. So, uh, it's 3 o'clock right now, and I had said that I wanted to go walk maybe at like 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock because then the evening would be cooler. Maybe even at 7, to be honest. Remind me at 6.30 to decide if I'm going to walk or not. Done. This is crazy. I can't be the only person who lets the phone remind me of every single thing that I want to do. I have such bad memory. I don't have an issue letting the phone remind me because I don't want to forget. I'm going to bust up some food right now because I'm starving. Because I woke up and I spent all morning pretty much sitting down pondering about all the things that I have to do. And so I didn't um, eat anything and I was waiting for my husband to wake up so I could ask him to drop me at the place. Which he did but he woke up late so um... Now that I'm done, that's good. She, my friend said, girl, you'll get through. Because I texted her. She currently works there. We went to school together. Anyways, I'm about to go look something to eat, figure out if I'm going to walk or not. But if I am, I got to eat from now so that I haven't just finished eating one. I'm going to go walk and then I'm going to finish watching some videos that I had on my queue before I left the house. But yeah, this is me trying to, you know, get my life together and not get comfortable at one place you know what i mean not for nothing this job i've been doing it since 2018 two different branches but nonetheless since 2018 you know and it's held me over and you know gave me the sense of productivity that i like to feel but i feel like now i'm very comfortable there like so even sunday when i called out it felt like nothing you know what i mean i don't want to get that comfortable i mean it's good to be comfortable where you work but i don't know if you guys can understand the level of comfort that i'm talking about where it's just like, it's like complacent. You know what I mean? I want to keep elevating and I don't want to just sit there for forever. So that's the thing. But I'm going to go. Hi right, guys. Just got back from um, going to do the, the drug test that the place ordered. And it was so quick, first of all. And they just took the urine sample and signed up the papers and that was it. I thought I was going to have to pay, but I didn't. It was free. How did I not know this? I don't know. Now that I'm done with like the drug test and everything, um, all I have to do is like bring it back to the facility and I think I'll do that once they call me to like come in for the orientation then I'll bring that with me. But for right now I just wait until it's time for the orientation. So I went to the grocery store and I got a few items and I'll show you guys a time lapse of what I got at the grocery store. So you guys are gonna see that now. That's where I'll wrap up today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I really, really hope you guys enjoy this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.